So yeah, we'll start it from right what we were just talking about. You know? What were we talking about? Just we'll just start it. We we already started it. We're in it right now. It's in. <laughs> we're going. Cool. All right, uh, our guest today, we have Gage. Everybody listening to this probably knows who Gage is, but we have a guest today. His name is Cody, and he's our hello. Yeah, he's very special, and he's our friend here in North Dakota. He's Gage and Liz's friends, and he's my friend now too. But not from North Dakota though. From Minnesota. From Minnesota, nice. Of course. Uh, so yeah, we've talked about it for a while doing a podcast together. It's really, it's been really funny, but uh, he he got his own like n- super nice uh, microphone Yeti. Uh, we just tried for like forty five minutes, thirty least, minutes, yeah, thirty 45. minutes trying to get multiple mics going, but I don't Impossible. have like, a, yeah, I don't have a sound mixer, and it's just a really difficult process. I I I figured that we we're gonna do it in some other way, but it just didn't work out. But well, the whole, the whole nobody pre- cares about that. The whole preface of this starts because Cody's an avid podcast listener. Yeah. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. On his way. To, how long's your, how long's your drive to work? Ooh, two hours there, two hours back, two, and then driving. Four hours of driving a day. And at least. We'll see if we get the else, podcast in two hours. What else you got to do? You got to <laughs> listen to podcasts like these. It's, yeah, it's. I think I need a satellite and podcast. I, I think I need to start making more of these so you're not like bored. Yeah. You might be running out of shows. You're listening. I listen to. I listen to yours on the way back, and it'll be like half, yeah. a quarter of the drive. What are some podcasters <laughs> you listen to? Uh, I like Jason Ellis. That's a good one. Otherwise, uh, Joe Rogan's is pretty good. Joe Rogan is amazing. Oh yeah, he's like he's crazy. A god, when it comes to it, he's crazy though. Um, I don't know a lot of random ones too. Yeah, like Except I've listened to uh, DJ Dramas. What is it? Uh, short story long or whatever. Oh, Something nice. Something like that. Yeah, just random ones. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we could talk about literally anything. It's amazing. We could talk about like stories. Talk about the universe. Talk about <laughs> some recent hobbies we're we'll getting into. Could go in any direction. Nothing's planned. No, this is a fun one. Yeah. It's getting mm-hmm. hot in here though. I don't know why. Is it just me? No, I know. One hundred percent hot. I was thinking that earlier too. Yeah. I'm really nervous. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's a good topic. The universe is always a good topic. The universe is, is very. Topic. You in? You into the universe? I am. I, I think know. I think we need to take it slow until we get into that. I think that's a oh, huge backstep. Yeah, the like, world. Let's talk about. World. Let's do some small talk before we get into the universe. Okay, that's how it usually starts for me. Yeah, when I get into <laughs> natural conversations. It's f- foreplay. Let's talk about our new. <laughs> <laughs> two little foreplay. Two little, little, little foreplay. Yeah. I uh, uh, let's talk about dogs. Back to the I universe. I don't know anything Craig. about dogs. The other day, I was sitting at the fire. This was uh, a couple weeks ago, and. Sitting at the fire, looking at the stars, and I was like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> infinite just kind of, like, became reality. Like, yeah. we could be a cell upon a cell upon a cell. Like, you just don't know. There's just so much space. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's infinite. It's just never I can talk about space this whole podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trust me. Like, I, I am, right. we need to go see, we need to go see the Northern Lights. Northern Lights. They're tonight. supposed to be out Is it tonight. tonight? Let There's, me see. Let me the Northern Lights are supposed to be out tonight, tonight here in North Dakota. Oh, we need to go see them. Get the ladder and go on my roof. That, that, speaking of the universe in space, I've never seen Northern Lights. Really? I need to see those. Oh. I've seen them in Minnesota a few times and up here. We saw them once. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're in Sawyer here. Town of uh, 367. Yeah, really big, small big town. Big town. Not a lot of lights, so maybe we'll see them. Oh, yeah. Wow. Really jumped up. That'd be awesome. It'd be awesome to go see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, space, dude. Like, I'm upset. Like everybody here, like knows I'm like obsessed with just looking at the stars. Oh yeah. Like I, I would be just fine instead of like doing it a fun activity. I'd be just fine to go out in the middle of nowhere and just look at the stars, just like talk to them. You know, it's just like crazy. It is how small nuts. we are compared to the vastness out in the space. It really yeah. is. <laughs> it's insane. I mean, when you think, when you look up and you're like, Jesus, yeah. you know, it's just. Makes you question everything. Have, yeah, have you seen those videos where they they put into perspective? So they'll do like, they'll be like you, and then they'll go be like your building, and then the city, and then the the state, and then yeah. they'll go the country, then the world, and then the you know they'll they'll keep going out and they'll get so far as to show like the I think the furthest that I saw was the what did they call it the galaxy some type of like web webbing mm-hmm. webbing of galaxies. <laughs> And just like, See, yeah. just like, what is beyond that? Like, uh, the crazy thing to always that I always ask is like, well, what's what's beyond that, or what's further than that? 
I don't think there is a further to that. This goes into the whole balance thing we were talking about. Yeah. Okay, I think that with there being oh, this is this is already like no. I, I, was into la- I was laughing. I was laughing like at five Gage. minutes into the podcast. I was laughing at Gage because he almost fumbled. It's just a, a balance thing. Like you have to have right. something in order to have nothing, and you have to have nothing in order to have something. And so there is no what I th- what I my theory what I think there is. I'm sure other people have thought about it, but like I don't think there's an end to the universe. I think it kind of just like the galaxies and stuff kind of probably like sort of generate in as you go further if yeah. that makes sense like Minecraft yeah. I feel like the galaxies and stuff just kind of generate and it's like there's not like a really definite end well we can see the end mm-hmm. of it it's the big bang we it, can see the flash of the big can, bang we can but like it's like a it's like sort of a re, it goes in and out like I'm talking like beyond our what we can conceive like our what we conceive goes like kind of like in and out like with the big bang because everything's kind of like temporarily That that's a really deep topic topic though that's crazy. Dude, I, I don't even it's, know what's beyond that. We, no, no I don't Maybe even, God. Maybe. That makes you. That makes you think. Uh, think about. Uh, you know what's really out there. Like mm-hmm. I mean, when you look up at the stars, you think, "Wow, oh, it's crazy," and then you kind of question everything. Like question. You know, yeah. did we put a man on the moon? Probably, maybe. Who knows? Really, I mean, but uh, even questioning God and like. Yeah. I mean, I believe in God, don't get me wrong, but when you see that, it's like, wow. Yeah. I think everything is perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's take it back a little bit. Yeah, no, before let's we get go, let's go ahead. We can, go ahead we can go ahead first, and I'm just warning you, like, I get really passionate about these topics. <laughs> like, I will drop some crazy stuff tonight. If we get into space and stuff, like, and it gets into, like, religion and stuff, too. Like, it's just, whew. I don't know if you boys want to go in that direction. <laughs> Better. I'm not afraid. Put I'm the seatbelts on, boys. We're going in. <laughs> so, universe going to be the topic or what? Sure. Okay. We can mix it up. We can talk about anything. All right. I was not We can ready talk for about this. Indiana, too. Oh, we can talk about Indiana. Yeah. What's something later? I've been to Indiana. You've been, been to there? Indiana? Uh, I, I mean, I was born there. <laughs> I drove through to, to, to go to Ohio. Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I You didn't miss much. <laughs> a lot of corn fields. Yeah. <laughs> no, Indiana's fine. Any, any places. I think is the people. Even North Dakota. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just the people you surround yourself with. The way I view it, too. I'm more of like a traveling. I like just traveling, honestly. Nah, I'm not me. So, really? I just, I don't, I don't know. I just like seeing different places and different locations. and You know what I mean? I don't. Mind, I, that's what I say. I don't mind seeing different yeah. places, but I hate traveling. Like driving or Oh, flying. the process of it mm. is... Oh, God, dude. I, yeah. I like the process. I've traveled so much in my... 24 short years. That's why I think I might just yes, buy a van and live in it for a while. Might do it. Definitely. That'd just, be pretty cool. Yeah. Might just do it. But the trouble with that, though, is I want to have my type of my like own income coming in through the internet somewhere. Oh, it should be really nice, you know? Well, there was this uh, baseball player, and don't quote me, I don't know who it is exactly, but I saw a video about him, and uh, I think he played for a Florida team. And he'd show, he just lived in his van, had a surfboard. It's the new and, American dream, bro. And he made, you know, he made a lot of, I, I don't know if he was a top player, make, didn't make millions, maybe not, but yeah. just chilled in his van and just It's like temporarily, you know? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'm in the position I can do that. I don't have a family or anything. Cool. Yeah. I think, I think it'd be cool that... We're talking about, you have Sam. Have a, oh, fuck. I can't leave Sam. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm taking Sam. <laughs> the dog Sam? Yeah. Yeah. Sam is my lover, dude. Ooh. I love that dog. I'll show a picture of Sam right now. Good dog. <laughs> oh, I have plenty of pictures. Yeah. I saw your Snapchat it's just like, of Dexter staring like at Like Thor you. and Dexter, like I love them too, but you just get in, like, you just they're just really hyper, and mm-hmm. so you just kind of get to a point like, okay, I had enough, you know? But like Sam's just, like so chill. Is Sam the German? Mm-hmm. Oh, never yeah. right. I saw that Snapchat of Sam staring at you the other day. Yeah. Yeah. On the Instagram story, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do- yeah, still, we we're going to talk about dogs. 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 Wow. I think we have a lot to learn from dogs. Very loving creatures. They are. You know? Very dumb and annoying at the same time. So, something that I, I 100% take for granted, and Liz always rem, like reminds me a lot too, is like, and I've even seen Facebook posts on it and stuff like that, is like, the dogs are a portion of your life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But to the dog, You're, you are their whole yeah. life. So it's like, I don't know. I, I always feel whenever I'm coming home or like whenever I get mad at the dogs or something like that, I just rem- try to remember that they're like, 
I mean so much to them and I bring them so much happiness. Like that's why they're so all over you when you walk mm-hmm. through the door. Yeah. It's like they're so happy to see you. Yeah. Dogs are great to have cuz they just bring like, a vibe of just loving love and happiness. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Like it's great. Like I never like I had my own dog too, but then when I moved in with Gage and Liz, it's like with three dogs and everything, it's like that vibe is actually there. It's like those dogs like bring the vibe of just like happiness and yeah, love and stuff. So yeah. it's really nice. It's and really companionship nice. and loyalty. That's I, I, they're such important traits, even for people. Yeah. And it, it's I don't know. That's why I think you can learn a lot from dogs. Absolutely. You know? Yeah, for sure. I just uh, I learned that. You know they're expensive too. Absolutely. <laughs> ripping up a ripping up a hot tub cover in my oh, uh, ripping up my house. Oh, God, yeah. Ugh, man, but yeah, I gotta love them. It's they're just great. a trade off kind of thing, you know. Yeah, it's just... give and take. Mm-hmm. Everything's give and Everything's take. Everything's a trade off. Mm-hmm. So. So yeah, how'd you guys like growing up in Indiana? Ah. Well, Gage, you grew up there, didn't you? Yeah, mm-hmm. I spent a little bit of time. It not too much. I think from. Well, I used to go back home every single summer. I would do school in Delaware or Maryland, wherever I was, and then for the summer, mm. up until the age of, I think, 16, I would go to Indiana. And Is that when you, like, officially left? Like, 16? I thought it was, like, 15, or 14 or 15. Yeah. Six. It was somewhere around there between, like, 15 and 16. I stopped going back yeah. to Indiana to see my parents, or to see my mom, really. Yeah. And then, uh... We have some special guests with us yeah. today as well. <laughs> we have some extra guests in the, Nancy in the back. Nancy Jansen is here. You guys can always yell in. We got Liz here, and we got Nancy. Uh, Marie. Liz Marie Brown as well. Yeah. Just kind of hanging out. Started the fire out back. And We're just all hanging out on a Friday night. Mm-hmm. We just went out to eat. Uh, my Staying hamburgers. in. The hamburger is pretty nice. Pretty good. Mm-hmm. That chicken tortellini. Yeah. Cajun tortellini mm. was fire. But that's why I'm fat, right? <laughs> Eat too much damn food. <laughs> you look good, dude. You look yeah. good. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you <look good. laughs> Call me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. So you moved when you were six. So which one did you no, like better? I'm, well, yeah, I, I moved officially to live with my dad to for the school year when I was like six, but... Like I said, every summer I'd go back and stay with my mom. Mm-hmm. And then I just stopped going back. I just would rather, you know, because I gained that friendship, mm-hmm. you know, through people in middle school and, and later on in high school. And I kind of just didn't want to go back. Yeah, just want to so, spend the summers with yeah, friends and stuff. Friends. And then me, like, me and Cameron, Cameron, his brother, such a big age gap. gap so... But yeah, I always remember Gage. Which was cool. What was cool about Gage is like he. There was such a big age gap, but like he always like was still like had that playfulness like with yeah. us. He was always like creative with us and stuff, which is like really cool. That's how uh, my cousin Chris was. Absolutely. Like yeah. me and Cameron would be like, we, me and Cameron had like the most imaginative minds. We'd be like acting like we're like in video games and stuff outside, and then Gage like Gage was like so much older, but like he'd you know act like that with mm-hmm. us too, which was like really cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, I ended up working for my cousin now, so that's that's my boss man, <laughs> boss man Chris, my cousin. Nice, so. that's cool. Yeah. Hey, who knows? someday I'll probably be working for him. I might be working for you. <laughs> who knows? I don't know, man. You're the you're the ambitious one here. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta use a password real quick. Uh, just gonna talk about whatever. Hang on, real quick. Absolutely. Oh, so, God. so tell me about your dangerous relationship. At uh, your job where you were a manager and you were co-mingling with your <laughs> employee. Oh, uh, where I met Liz, huh? <laughs> oh, no, there's there's not much to the story. I mean, I saw a hot young thing and <laughs> it was love at first sight, you know what I mean? There's not much to say. Aww. That's so very cute. sweet. Yeah. Oh, really, it was like really short. Yeah. <laughs> we just hit it off, just... She was so bubbly and fun and extremely nice. Probably the nicest person I ever met. I don't know what happened to you. I, I know, know you. Bitch. <laughs> 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 Seriously. Whoa, we gotta bleep that out. Yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but uh, that's awesome. I still have fun to this day. God, that mic is impressive. I could pick up that door, no problem. Really? Yeah. This mic is sweet. 
Did it all just fall out at once or what? <laughs> just walk in. <laughs> welcome back, Mason. Yeah, Mason, welcome. Mason. I, I just went on an adventure, guys. Holy crap, you won't believe what just happened. Did you went see? To Narnia. Well, it's I went to Narnia. It's probably because of that big ass box in there. I took a shit when I got my mic, <laughs> and I decided that's probably the best time to open up my mic box. Is <laughs> when I'm taking a break right after work, dropping a shit. <laughs> so, took a knife out, cut it open, was checking the product. <laughs> closed yeah. the, closed the oh, box, God. and there was still some stink left. Oh, <laughs> yep, that's pretty much it. And I haven't cleaned it up since. Oh it's man. Weak. We rarely use that bathroom. So Side note, I, I think I, we already discussed this. This is just, we're just spewing out stuff. Nothing's planned, yeah. no jot notes or anything. Mm-hmm. I usually have jot notes on these, but we're just... That's <laughs> just fine. We can, we can make some now. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah. I can throw in some successful words. <laughs> if it's about self-awareness. Jump. I don't know. Jump, do it. Take an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about inspiration. Let's get inspirational. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's video, make sure video coming soon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Are wow. Oh, we're working right. on a we're working on a video and we're changing it up. It's not necessarily funny. It's like it's an not inspiration. A, not a skit, yeah. It's a workout one, right? Not workout. It's more or less ones. like motivational, inspirational. Along and it's those like, lines. like not the guidance. cliche type stuff you see motivation. Okay. Because I think okay, so motivation nowadays is kind of like people watch a lot of motivational stuff. Mm-hmm. That's more of entertainment to me. Like. Like, people like to be motivated because it's a form of entertainment, mm-hmm. honestly. Like, they're, like, you know, you it's a, not about being motivated. It's about actually, like, committing to, like, whatever you want to do, you know? But uh, this one's kind of different. It's not, like, that cliche, like, hey, go ahead and do it. It's kind of, like, focusing on, like, the process of, like, it's a it's a running video. Just, like, running, you know? Kind of just focus on kind of the process of running, exercising, like, whatever. So. Absolutely. So oh. it's really cool, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, hopefully it comes out as well as Mason and I envision it. Because we, never, we have never happens. We have a huge. We we're going big on this one. Well, I'll let you know. I mean, I get alerts every time you post a new video or podcast. So, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Gage always like playing videos, and then it takes super long to make them. Yeah, yeah. I remember conflicting schedules, military plus yeah, or two super jobs. Busy, yeah, super busy. But I remember when I wasn't really busy, like in high school, when me and my cousins used to make videos. We would we would have nothing to do like like one day we'd literally shoot the video, edit it, tinker with it like it'd be like we did that all in like fourteen hours in like one day it'd be like crazy just like crazy process but really fun you gotta yeah. enjoy the creative process of doing these kind of things yeah hundred percent I've got a few videos on YouTube oh, yeah? do you they're not like what you think well one is like a stupid vlog that me and Billy made <laughs> bitching about things we hated oh there's that a was. dancing one. It's not a dancing one. It's a, uh, it was a school, I was going to get to that, but it was a school project, uh, but we had to make a song, a play, or a skit, Mm -hmm. or a mini movie, Mm -hmm. you know, video about photosynthesis, (laughs) or no, different, yeah, I think it was photosynthesis, so me, me and my, one of my best buddies, Kareem, and then, uh, another good buddy, Dylan, another good buddy, Phil, we all, uh, made a, a video about, or a rap about photosynthesis. Nice. And uh, it was... School, right? Yeah, yeah it was... Let's a, get you. It was pretty lit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty sweet. But I don't like showing people because it's embarrassing. It's an old video. Okay, so we'll, like, we'll just, you know, post maybe, a link to that. Yeah, <laughs> we'll show, we'll show <laughs> we're going we're gonna to get it out of him tonight. We're gonna, he's he's going to show us tonight. One, show, way, one show, way or another. Yeah. I'll, I'll show you guys after this. Okay, cool. Let me I'm just give a quick shout out to the Mustache Boys. If you're even listening, probably <laughs> won't be listening. But if you do, shout out to the Mustache Boys. Nice. Let's but, talk about yeah. I mean, let's talk about school. How was your guys' high school experience? It was good. I had a good high school experience. Me too. Well. Yeah. I had a great like. I mean, it was like I just got a little bit of everything out of the mm-hmm. high school experience, yeah. which is like really important. Like I I know this is really weird to say, but I role played in all the different roles. Kind right. Of. Like one year I was a, like a literally a nerd. <laughs> okay. And then another year I was like just sort of like a jock. Mm-hmm. And then, like I I had all the same friends at the high school my high school career, but 
I don't know. It's just one year I heavily focused on my grades. Another year I, I was like I just focused on sports, and another year I was just kind of a goof around, goofball. I just felt like I mixed it up a lot in high school, and I kind of like did those different roles a lot. That's kind of my high school experience. But yeah, I, the whole learning aspect of it, and just I don't really believe in education system really necessarily. No, I think it's outdated. Yeah, it's very outdated. Yeah. I think there needs to be a lot of change to the education system. Um, so far as long as that, I didn't really enjoy any of that. But I think a big thing about high school is just like the social interaction you have with other like students and stuff. That's like the biggest thing oh, you should get out of it. So absolutely the biggest thing. I had some, you know, it's it was there was a homeschool guy who came into school at like ninth grade. He had a tough time, and I knew him before. He lived in the same neighborhood as me, and I knew him before, and he had a tough time adapting. And mm-hmm. it seems like he tried to, you know, try to fit in and. You know, he got in a little bit of trouble, but yeah, I don't know. That's one thing that I I didn't. I was never in a clique. I was never in a group. I, I mean, I had my really good friends, but it seems like I had friends. With, I, I just was friends with a lot of different people and mm-hmm. different groups, and you know, like the nerds or. We didn't really have too much of a jock group, but uh, I don't know. You know, I was just kind of friends with everyone really, and yeah, did a lot of did a lot of partying. Not a lot of partying, but a lot of drinking, I guess, in high school. And I kind of got that out of my way before I went to basic training. Cause mm-hmm. I, That's good, yeah. I graduated, like, I forgot what month I graduated, but I left, like, a month later for basic. Nice, wow. And uh, so I got a lot of that out of the way. And then it was kind of fun. And then I got, when I got back, I got about, I don't know, I think I made 5000 or something like that, five 6000 for basic. Uh-huh. And it's, already rolling. <laughs> yeah. it's already rolling the train. And I got back, like, Thanksgiving, and I didn't get a job till like, February, but I just chilled, hung yeah. out, drank, and partied, and did random shit. But, nice. Yeah, and then, I guess, not much. What about, uh, I don't know, about a year later, not even a year, I moved out here did it because I was sick of I didn't want to be one of those kids who are stuck in town doing mm-hmm. the same shit every single day oh yeah you know and just not making all working jobs they hate you know making their paycheck and then making it to the bar and then blowing it all on the right. weekend it's just, I see it I mm-hmm. see it on snapchats and shit like that and you know it just seems like they're not that happy or whatever or yeah for you I kind of view like you look like you kind of you seem like you do a lot of different things which is pretty cool yeah you I, do like uh, ice fishing and oh yeah, you were on the lake fishing. You were uh, do a lot of different things, like talk about uh, you go dirt biking and stuff too, or four wheeling. Uh, yeah, I got talk about that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I just like to do. I don't know. That's one thing I like to do. What I like, like I just just like doing a diff- yeah, bunch of different things. I do. Just I really do. I diversify myself in a lot. That's of for me shit. too, and that's a tricky thing with me too. Is like. I like to just do, try to a lot of different things, mm-hmm. and there's a good and a bad to it. Like, it's definitely good to do new things and everything, but then it's just kind of like when you're trying to like kind of get something something out of it, you kind of want to like focus on it more. I don't know. I just I start on things and then I kind of leave them and go on a new thing. And it's just not necessarily something you, you can you want to do if you want to like do a startup or something like that. But yeah. Gage, how was your high school experience? I don't, I never hear too much about it. Just like. I don't know, just like just how were you in high school? Yeah, uh, just, I've never heard that much about it. I was no, just I, it. I mean it's nothing special, honestly. Just typical high school. I, I wasn't associated with a certain clique either. Uh, played sports all season, always doing something, trying to stay busy. Death was, metal band. Remember yeah, that death metal death, band? You death were in? metal band. No, I, I, I had <laughs> no. Trust me, I tried to start bands. I tried to do sports. I tried to do everything under the sun. I mean. Yeah. I'm, I had a lot of lot of friends, but it seems like right when you leave high school, all those friends disappear. For I, sure. I think I've probably retained maybe five people that I still, you know, associate myself with and talk to. I'm going up that level. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, you could be best friends with somebody for three years, and then your senior year, you might not talk to them as much, and then mm-hmm. you'll. I haven't talked to some people in six years yeah you know what I mean it's, it's been a while but it's interesting to see how everybody what's really cool about having the internet social media you can just literally go out and see the direction right they take mm-hmm. right it's like really cool gone. oh yeah but um after high school I didn't go to college right away I didn't do anything 
pretty much just worked it uh worked at food line and then trying to get into the coast guard and hurt my shoulder and then ev- eventually transitioned to the air force which is where i am today three years in the future well two years i took two years off worked at food lion and then after that i went into the military that's what i've been ever since three more years left nice. <laughs> yeah, it's sort of weird. Like when you're in high school, it's like that seems like it's your whole world, you know. Mm-hmm. I know. It's just yeah. When you kind of get out and you learn people's tendencies, mm-hmm. like, and you're just kind of like, man, you're fucking sketchy. Mm-hmm. Like I don't really want to fuck with you. Yeah. As and bad as it. It's sounds. just not enough time to. What's crazy about high school is, you know, what I feel is so many people want to have a lot of different friends, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. there's just no way you can have. 10 genuine friends right like, you're only gonna have like two or three most likely genuine yeah. friends so yeah. like yeah for me i had a bunch of friends and it just started i was like dude i'm just i just was mindful about just the type of friends i had they just started just just i don't know just getting to different things i didn't want to get into and i just was like i just want to have these certain friends and i just kind of stopped associating with a lot of different other people and then it, it left me a lot more time for myself too just i just started uh learning about myself more doing that which is a really good move on my part to do that because I feel like a lot of people kind of lost when they're just like partying a lot sort of and associating with a lot of people you just don't know yourself as much I think in my personal opinion yeah well, I agree I, I don't know about you um, but you went to a very large school and I, yeah. but I went to a very small school so so in my class I graduated in class of like 200 and 200? 200 and X amount of people. I had like 2,000. Yeah. What? So everybody knew... <laughs> everybody knew everybody for my graduating class. So that's why it was so easy to be so tight net. It's because, yeah. you know, there's not thousands of faces. It's exaggerated. There's I had like 200 I can't remember. Faces. I think I had 700 in my class. I was going to say probably like 800. 700. I think school like 700. Per sure. what? What I think we had like four or 500. But we did. It was... You knew everyone. <laughs> everyone knew each other. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean... I, I I grew up in Cottage Grove, Minnesota, which is just south of the, south of St. Paul. Well, 10, 15 minutes south of St. Paul, 20, 30 minutes south of Minneapolis. But uh, I grew up in a very diverse school. Like we had a very diverse school. We had a lot of we had a lot of mugs. We had a lot of you know just all different types of races. Wait, what? Mugs. Yeah, that's something that. I, What's that? It's it's a it's a race of people. It's mugs, mung, mung. I've H- never heard M-O-N-G, of that. M O N G, I believe. I, I, don't quote me on that. I better look that up. Have you ever heard of mungs? Monks. I've heard of monks. <laughs> I thought you said monks. Monks. monks like, They're from uh, monastery monks. Oh, new Mongolians body. or something. I don't know. Uh, it's I don't, H- I don't mean H M O N G, mung. Where where are they? Where are they? They're from Laos, I believe. Laos. Wow. And, uh, yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Huh. That's something. Yeah, there. It's it's uh, it's funny because people don't know about it. <laughs> Is it weird that I just want to try Laosian food? Laosian every time, Laosian every food? time I think of a different country, I always just want to try the oh, food yeah. from that country. Yeah, I got a really good buddy in my unit. Shout out to Ryan Lee if you're listening. It was Ryan. But, uh, what's Ryan what's Lee's, going on, Ryan? What's up, Ryan? He's uh, he's probably not gonna be listening. <laughs> Description. Hopefully, I'll share it on Facebook. <laughs> but. Uh, yeah, Ryan Lee, he's Hmong. But yeah, a lot of Hmongs. A lot of different Asian types, but Hmong is heavily... A lot of Hmong culture in Minneapolis and St. Paul, and they've got a big um, Hmong... Uh, what do you call it? Like a farmer's market? Oh, yeah. A big Hmong market, but yeah, pretty pretty cool. Their history is kind of kind of crazy, because uh, I think... God, don't quote me again, because I don't want to be <laughs> That's okay. on the record. Anyway, but... Uh, they were chased out of an area that they were in, and they were forced to go to Laos, and uh, their history books were burnt or something like that. And mm-hmm. like, they are, they tried to erase the Hmong culture, and, mm-hmm. and uh, but they ended up coming over here. And they used a lot. There was a secret war, and I don't know if it was the Korean War or Vietnam, but they used uh, America used monks to. Uh, I don't know if it was speak the language, but they just used. So they helped us in a war. Mm-hmm. Huh. And so that's why a lot of them came over. And Oh, that's interesting. Okay. But, yeah, uh, yeah good people. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. 
It's, uh... It's really cool to always meet, like, a really cool fact about me. I've never thought about it this way. I'm just now kind of... I was, I just now kind of thought back to just some of the day. I mm-hmm. used to live on the street, okay, of all kinds of different races of people. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. I never really thought about it too much, but never really realized that when you're a kid, you just don't realize a lot of things. But um, on that street, there was a Vietnamese family with kids. There was a Mexican family with kids. An African American, or <laughs> there was a black family. Um, Please, uh, I was the white kid. Please forgive the train. I can definitely hear it in here. Oh, okay. It's okay, but it's not that loud. You're good. Um, and so... It's the hype train. Woo-woo. All yeah. these families had their kids. They're all about my age. You know what time it is <laughs> when you hear that train. Hype train! Choo-choo! <laughs> anyway, sorry. And all, yeah, and all these uh, families had their kids, and we all used to play together and stuff. It was, like, so cool, dude. It is. It's very cool. And I, I grew up you on the block just like a, that. You guys ever seen an ASDF movie? I have not. Okay, I'm not What does that stand for? It's a it's a YouTube video. There's a joke in it. It talks about trains. Like, I don't know. I'm not, I won't just forget that part. If you guys haven't seen it, you won't get the joke. <laughs> this link is the, the train part of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> so, and I grew up on a block, actually, too, just like that, where the first house was a... Uh, the mom was Asian, the father was white, and they had kids. And then it was a Asian family, and then it was a, a white family, and then it was us. Next door were African family, uh, and then next door to them was an Asian family. Next door to them, and this is a cul-de-sac. I'm <laughs> it's sorry. So crazy, dude! Like we was live on the same street. Arabic, Arab, and then you sure we didn't live on the same street? It, yeah, pretty God much. Dang, dude. Yeah, it was Arabic and Arabic, and they were related. And then it was a another African, and then it was white and African, and then it was uh, South American, and and down the corner it was Asian. That's crazy. And, yeah, it, it's just literally, it was just, you know, it you was guys, like a melting ever, pot. You guys ever, like, hang out in a group? Or did they all have, like, kids? Oh, yeah. I, I was kind of the oldest. I had one who was in uh, my grade, but uh, a lot of them were older. Yeah. Or, I mean, a lot of them were younger than I was, but, you know, we all would play... I'd play football with the kids and stuff yeah. like that. But this yeah, is a it's really, crazy. This is like a really like neat thing, too, which was like... It's kind of sad in a way, but it's like really cool to look at, too. These families that live on my street, they kind of like always had con, 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 uh, confrontation. Like, they're oh, always like kind of fighting with each other and everything. Yeah. But us as kids, we always like played together and played soccer together and never got in fights or anything. I don't know. It just, it's beautiful. I just want to try their food. All right, it is. It's, <laughs> it's amazing. Let's, I had... Let's try food. This family that was Vietnamese, they invited me, my friend, in one time to eat dinner with them. We've never really been inside their house too much. It was really cool. After this, we became good friends with them. But we were just like, it was like a culture shock, sort of. We were just like really weirded out just by the food that they were like giving us. Yeah. And I remember my friends just, like, they're saying, they're saying, they're speaking Vietnamese or whatever. Just saying gibberish. We didn't understand any of it. My friend was just like looking over. I don't know. It was really. Really funny. It was like a really cool, cool thing. It's a cool experience. Absolutely. Yeah. Just having all those like cultures on the uh, same street is like so cool. So. Absolutely. You know, it's becoming American culture now. Vegan. Yep. It is. That's like we trip when Liz and I went to California recently, and uh, shout out to Jesse Wellens. <laughs> if you're we listening to this, yeah, Jesse, <laughs> you're listening. To this. You know, shout out to you. It's all Gage's fault. He fucked up his mojo on E3. Yeah, <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> Illuminati confirmed. Yeah. No, but Liz and I tried an all vegan place, and like, I'm whatever for vegan. Like, I'll eat it, but that that place is extremely good. Mm-hmm. And like, I feel like they're just popping up all over the place. I feel like, if, what, ten years from now, that'll just be the normal thing. Yeah, with this. Uh... With that, it kind of goes into meat eaters and being vegan, vegetarian. It's kind of a progressive movement happening, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, the thing about that, though, is, like, I'm all for it, honestly, personally. Just, like, I care for animals, uh, you know, because they have consciousness and things like that. I- I'm good. I'm for the movement, you know? Um, but our society obviously isn't set up in that. Like, if our society was set up in that way, like, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's just, I don't know. You can totally do it. You know what I mean? You can totally do it if you're committed, like Liz. It's tough. It's but, very, um, very tough. It goes into economics. It goes into the efficiency that 
we mate, like we slaughter these animals. Uh, it goes into all of that. It'd be entirely more efficient and better for our world if we did go entirely vegetarian. Um, and so I, I kind of understand that kind of aspect of things too. The thing that's really crazy <laughs> that's like now going on is that they're making meat in like laboratories. I'm excited to try that. I'm not gonna lie. I, yeah. Fuck it. I'll try. And it. there's people yeah, that's like, oh, I wouldn't want to do that. Like, damn nasty. right like, I would. But it's meat, though. I mean, and 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 like, and they're like, oh, that's nasty. But like, and it's not nasty eating slaughtered animals. You know, like I don't know. It's just that that's something that's really neat, and that's kind of like on the surface. But I, I, I still don't think vegetarians will ever switch to eating meat. I feel like they're just so yeah acclimated to eating. You know, it's just a developing thing. Just with all this stuff, it's just gonna take a lot of time like yeah it might be towards the end of our lifetimes that we even see if anything happens you know if everybody starts eating this laboratory made meat it's I'm just curious developing. of like the nutritional value if you if you can still gain the same nutrition from the you know laboratory made meat aside from the nutrition you get from beef yeah it'd be or chicken whatever the i'm not you know like protein yeah some good old protein. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever not eat meat. Yeah, meat. No. Like I always, I'm not the biggest meat guy. I've never really had. Like I like meat. I appreciate a burger. But me just kind of stepping back from it and just kind of looking at it, I'm just like, okay, meat. Like it's kind of fucked. I like it. Yeah, it is kind of fucked. And I'm just like, I like it because of the ketchup, the lettuce, or the barbecue that's on the ribs, or the steak that comes with the A1 sauce and it's grilled and crisp, and just like the, the 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 like grease that's inside the like whatever the meat, like you like kind of all those aspects, or then you just like just meat by itself, just kind of like. Not me. I'll eat freaking burger plain. I'm not a big plain burger chicken guy. Plain. But I'll, I'll eat anything. I plain. could kill a steak. steak I can make plain a steak. Is fantastic. Yeah. So maybe you're just different. It's just perspective. Yeah. So. I'm meatitarian. I like. I'll make a good steak. I've always liked meat with all the other. Yeah. Different. Things that come with it. The ins and outs. Ketchup. The ketchup. Oh, I love ketchup, dude. Yeah, I dude eat think, ketchup with a spoon. Think, think of how small ketchup is compared to the universe. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about a regular Heinz okay. bottle? This goes into the, uni- <laughs> the universe of everything and the unification theory. Like, like it, I don't know, it ties into higher dimension, dimensions and everything, but like in some way, everything is kind of like connected and... In some way, everything is like it's. I have this book I'm trying to get into, and it's really like beyond me. I'm, in, I'm into other books. <laughs> to read a chapter. And so if I'm jumping into this, if I'm jumping into this, I just sound like a complete. <laughs> if I'm jumping into this, sound like a complete unitic and like idiot. It's just because I don't know too much about it. Einstein tried to figure this out. So how the hell would I even come close to even trying to make this even make sense? But the internet, <laughs> the forces of our universe, Twitter. in some way, in some way, like form together, like are unified together. And what they're trying to figure out is like why. They go together, like the gravity, uh, the three-dimensional world. Just some way, everything comes together. And like, if you look at time, I kind of have a grasp of time. I like how it kind of works. Like, you have time, you have space-time through through in space, and it's like, say you have a line in space, okay, and this light is going to cross space. Uh, I don't. For the viewers out there, you can try to make a depiction in your head of like what I'm talking about. But you have one point and you have another point. Okay, you've got a straight line. I'll describe it as you have a straight line of light. You have one yes. point and another point. They're in two different times. Yep. You're stepping and you're looking at it in a picture. They're in two different times. That's, yeah, space because time. of space time. Yeah. yeah, correct. Space time, and then you have gravity bringing the light onto the world. It kind of wraps mm-hmm. the light around the world, and that's just what we live in. Is light is making our time, and our consciousness kind of prevails that in some way, in some fashion. So you have all these like forces like are, that are, like work together, and what they're trying to unravel is like how everything is unified, and they think that exists into like higher dimensions in some way, and we can't detect that obviously. Um, so they can only speculate, you know. Wait, I, ha- I have something crazy. But that goes into like sp- <laughs> that goes into like spirituality, <laughs> astral projection, and lucid dreaming, which is what I've been practicing. Let's go. What are you talking about? Let's okay. Go. All right. So, so what is gravity, right? Mm. Simple. And just, just, uh, just answer the question. Jeez. What, what is gravity effect, right? What? My fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> so gravity, what is created by a big mass, right? Right. Okay. So is there gravity outside of, um, like, 
think beyond our galaxy, beyond what we can see, and just emptiness. Is there gravity there? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't know. Because if you did think that gravity was there, what other forces are here that we can't, that we don't know about? I think, I always do that. It's like, what they speculate and what Higher Dimensions is, is like, perfect form. Like it like makes no sense, no sense, but what they think it's like, just geom- geom- geometry, like geometry, it's just like geometry and like form and... That's what they think it is in some way. Damn humans. And there's like gurus and mystics that do a bunch of crazy stuff that like see, like, I don't know, dude, like they see like, like what's beyond like in higher dimensions. I don't know. Like they send their brains in the higher vibrations that can like, I don't know, dude, it's, it's That seems deep. Really Very crazy deep. stuff. Just for the record, it is 1055 and I can still see light. Oof. Here in North Dakota. North Dakota. Dakota. Aliens. Aliens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. One thing that I've noticed, I don't know if you guys not to switch it off topic, but it's my first podcast, but I've noticed something that I've been catching myself on is all night is when you're, when you guys are explaining something, I'll say, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, and I feel like it takes away from what you're saying because I'm inner. I don't think inter- so. I think oh, it, that's it's good though. You're being mindful on like what you're doing. No, I, I think it, it just indicates that you're paying attention and you're understanding. Yeah, but with the listener... Is that good for a listener? That's good for me. I do the same thing. It's like reassurance for me when yeah, you say, mm-hmm. you're Yeah. Because yeah. like if, you, if you were like doing this and like looking away, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then yeah. I'd be like, okay, he's probably not listening. Yeah. But you're, you're actively engaged. You're responding. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, do, 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 do. it's fun. It's pretty sweet. Mm-hmm. Me and Gage were talking about meditation. Uh, oh, me okay. A- you teach me how to meditate. Go. You want to? Yes. You interested? Pretty, pretty much the same Absolutely. as teaching you how to doggy. There's a whole song. Okay. Link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> okay, meditation. All right. Wow. Teach me meditation. <laughs> teach, teach me meditation. So. <laughs> all right, meditation. Wow. Dude, Let's I think it's this. time to make that music video. <laughs> that went way too well. <laughs> it's too smooth. Yeah, we'll, we'll put, that in, put that in the notes. Maybe maybe we'll make a music video out of that. But uh, <laughs> link in the description. Did you listen to my? <laughs> did you listen to my second podcast? Which one? The one with the guy from New York was the first one. Yep. Second one was your buddy. My buddy. We yeah. talked about meditation a little bit. Did you ever yeah. listen to that about a little the bit? I guess mind. we didn't talk about how we do it, did we? No. Okay. You didn't really explain how. That's why I was... I so, kind of tried. So with meditation, okay, like a lot of people think it's like some sort of process. Mm, or some goofy shit like that where you're... What monks do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a whole misconception. But the thing yeah. about it is you can't draw speculation. Like, you, you want to go in, research it yourself, make your own conclusions. That goes with everything. And that's just a part of just being open-minded and looking into things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just look into... I can give you what I do. I can tell you a little bit about it, why it's beneficial for me in my life. But, you know, look at it in your own way. Go do research. Watch other people's perspectives. And, you know, do it for yourself. But, like, I've been into meditation for, like, a year. And probably within the last couple months, I've been starting to do it actually, like, right, more beneficial. And, um... And so, with meditation, I read this. I, re- I read this book uh, written by this guy named Sam Harris. He major. He went to uh, Harvard, I think. I don't know. I don't even know if Harvard even teaches to be a neuroscientist. Do you know? I don't know. Who? Stanford, maybe. Sam Harris. Huh. He he majored in neurology. Literally all about the consciousness. He majored in like learning all about that. I know Calvin Harris. Didn't go to Harvard. No, maybe not. Harvard, Harvard went, Law. Yeah, he he went I to didn't a go high to up. School. He went to a high up college. Johns Hopkins. But um, I smoked pot with Johns Hopkins. <laughs> it was me. No, you didn't. Johns Hopkins and Sloan Ketterling, and we were blazing that shit up every day. <laughs> so um, link in the description. <laughs> <laughs> Step Brothers. <laughs> so okay. So okay. I'll just go into how to make it. I'm, I'm not going to go. Yeah. I, for me, when I try, when I go into something, dude, I just like literally try to cover the whole big picture. I'm just going to tell you the process of meditation when going yeah. into anything else. I'm just that type of guy. I like try to cover everything. It's going to take up hours. <laughs> so it's tough. I do the same I try thing. to do that, dude. It's just like, I'm really ambitious, like, even when I'm trying to like talk about stuff. But, um, and so, then you catch yourself, and you're like, God, why am I fucking explaining So the thing about meditation is like what you realize is everything starts up here, like in your mind. Like... That's the root of suffering. That's where your happiness lies. It's underlying in like every single moment. It's like up here, really. Okay, and that's the biggest thing you kind of start to get out of like meditating, being mindful about things. So, 
you meditate and you're just you're just like existing you're not doing anything else except for just just like just being you know what i mean um so what you usually want to do like I, i'm not really good at trying to keep my back straight but you try to sit in a posture sit straight up i'm sure you've seen people do it okay um I'm, it's really hard for me to keep my back straight i usually just go sit against a wall or a tree or something like that but um what you want to do usually is you just want to like focus on your breath and just like breathing just breathing through your nose just letting breath just go into you know and you just focus on that and that makes it to where you're trying to focus on that and not having your thoughts just scattered because like throughout the day what you start to realize is like our thoughts are just just going you know just like your thoughts are going. <laughs> for the viewers he's just like practicing it right now yeah, he's like closed his eyes and just going trying, right now. like the virtual haircut yeah so um so yeah you, what you'll start to notice is like you just unhealthily start having thoughts come into your mind and like what you want to do is just kind of like just view those thoughts from a higher awareness and you just kind of look at those thoughts you know and you don't draw a conclusion like with your thoughts whatsoever it's just simply being aware of like what you're thinking you step you don't identify with the thoughts like okay. you're just kind of just viewing it like a thought you start viewing your thoughts as like an actual object as a tangible thing you start to see that and you just kind of see like is this helpful thinking this is this like helpful is this you know what I mean and you can kind of you, you can kind of start seeing the line between like negative thoughts or you trying to keep thinking of the future like huh what am I going to eat after I meditate or huh how much sleep am I going to get tonight or something like that your mind is always like Oh, being yeah. projected Always. into the future Work. that takes away from the now which goes into sort of some things the like the power that. of now think in the description yeah so um this description is filled with links yeah, today so people. there's a there's a physical thing about this too this goes into science and everything like it really does it's very beneficial for your mind just like the neurons in your mind it like literally connects your mind better and it makes you think more crucially you're not in your subconscious thinking a lot you're not in like just that reactive state you're thinking a lot more deeper and like a, with a lot more awareness and um yeah dude meditation dude literally it's great like <laughs> it's, it's really great how long do you meditate for usually just having a practice of mindfulness throughout your day is a good thing to do just like you just kind of like if you're eating if you're eating if you're taking a walk if you're at your job you're just you can just have like little reality checks like hmm, I'm in this moment right now just mindful just everything is going on you know you can kind of do those and then I usually try to meditate for like 15 two sessions of 15 minutes like when I wake up before I go to bed and do you ever like uh, do you so you sit straight up every time so you can't like lay down and meditate now like if what you want to do is it helps with your breathing sitting up like you're laying down you tend to like, when you first wake up to, you might fall asleep if you're laying down, you know? Um, yeah, that's why I was, that's yeah. why I was getting at that. I'd be... Because, like, good times to meditate is in the morning to get your mind, like, clear going. Or at night, it helps you to fall asleep, too, doing it at night. Um, so, yeah, but, like, sitting up, you know, for me personally, I like sitting up because I won't fall asleep. And also, it's supposed to, like, help your breathing and stuff. Who's that? Actually, laying down Nancy. is really good for breathing. He would sing and lay down and quiet. Yeah. You can meditate laying down. Yeah, you can. You can meditate in any way, but like, when I, like I meditate, meditate in the morning, down. if I meditate in the like morning, I lay down, I might fall asleep. my butt yeah. in the air. Guys, we gotta go back to work. I'm really tired. Still have to shower. <clears throat> yeah, I, mean, I suppose. We can end it right here. How, how long we got going on this one? 50 minutes. 50? 50. That's awesome. Yeah. That was fun. Podcasting's great, dude. We're gonna... It's like adding a set... Like, you, you just... It kind of just forces us to be transparent to each other. It's I, a great time. I think in the next podcast, we should play the game Speak Out. What's that? What? Speak Out? You don't know what Speak Out is? I don't know mm -hmm. what it is. These fools don't know what Speak Out is. You just say whatever? We own it. We no, own it. Not. It's a board game? No, you put the fucking... Oh, oh yeah. I know what that is. Shelly <laughs> Salanders. Yeah, I know what that is. Dude, cheesy That game's fun. Assholes. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. I, I think that'll be a, like, I don't know, first, like, ten minutes. Just, like, each person do a round. It'd be cool. It'd we be could do so that in between fun. topics or something. It'd be kind of cool. This is, this is fun. Like, I... I great time, right? I, yeah, great time, bro. Great time. Let's go. And we got Gage in it, too. That's yeah. Awesome. 
fuck it, dude. We should do it. Right, we're going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this podcast if you tune in this long. Um, Thank you, Mason, for having me. It was no an problem. absolute blast. Great blast. Wait, we're in your Great house. Great blast. Thanks for having us. By the way, if I said some stupid stuff in this podcast because I'm kind of tired. Because he's kind of high. Yeah. High on and life. High on life, yeah. We've and acid. A couple yep. of margaritas, you know. Yeah, a couple Better. of margaritas, for sure. Reality, Just, I think yeah. we only had one. <laughs> I had five. Jeez. Thank you guys for tuning in. See ya.